Okay. You ready? True or false? God is the only spiritual being that can work a true miracle. Go. Live. That's true. True or false? Natural laws are immutable, or in other words, unchanging. Go. Mary? True. Nah, I didn't. That's false. Come on, Malin. True or false? True miracles are immediate and permanent. Go. Miracles live. True. That's true. True or false? Uh, true miracles can be used for evil purposes. Go. Live. False. False. Uh, true or false? True miracles always draw attention and glory to God. Go. True. Live. I don't know, it's just because of your name or it doesn't count, man. I don't know, close enough. Um, true or false, a rocket taking off into space is an example of overpowering a natural force. Go. Yes, okay. That's true. True or false, if natural laws describe what happens by natural causes, then miracles could be said to describe what happens by providence. Go. Yes. False. Providence is God's work um, in, in the natural world. It's not supernatural. Um, so it, what, it, what it should have said to be true is if natural laws describe what happens by natural causes, then miracles could be said to describe what happens by supernatural oh, okay. Uh, next question. Uh, true or false? The theistic God discovered uh, through the cosmological, teleological, and moral arguments is consistent with the God of the Bible. Go. Yes. That's true. That's true. Yeah, Ready to stand up, Kyle. Uh, who won the NCAA National uh, Championship in football? Go. Uh, true or false? The resurrection of Jesus is the greatest miracle and sets a precedent for all other miracles. Go. Caleb. False. That's false. Um, what is the greatest precedent setting miracle? Go. Caleb again. Creation. Creation. Creation of the universe out of nothing. Whose logical argument? Claimed that natural laws are immutable. Go. Yes. That was not Hume's argument. Over here. Oh, what's his name? Well, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, Kyle. <laughs> Nobody? I know exactly what his name Nobody? Over here? Somebody want to try? Oh, uh, <laughs> Can I get the first letter of this last name? I mean, you can, but you won't get the last letter. Doesn't it start with this? It does start with this. It's the future of the 1600. Um, so you need to look that up. You need to know that. <clears throat> Whose logical argument claimed that miracles are not credible? Go. Yes. You? That is you. <laughs> uh, true or false? Uh, the origin of the universe, which happened only once, is a counterexample to David Hume's argument that the evidence for the regular is always greater than the evidence for the rare. Yes. True. That's true. So let me explain that. Let me explain that. Um, so Hume's argu argument is that the ev evidence for the regular, so the evidence for what happens all the time, is greater than the evidence for something that doesn't happen often or, or, or happens rarely. But we, um, the origin of the universe is something that only happened once. That's as rare as it can go. Do we have really good proof that the universe exists? Yes. Yeah. So, so the evidence for the unregular, the evidence for um, the rare is not necessarily less than the, rev uh, the evidence for the regular. So that's what I mean by a counterexample. It's something that counters that argument. In this case, um, 
the argument of, of Hume. Uh, true or false? The creation of, li of life... Um, wow. The creation of life... I don't know why I put this another word in there. Uh, which happened only once. Uh, no, I already did that one. Sorry. Um, so the entire history of the world is comprised of rare, unrepeatable events. This is also a counterexample to David Hume's argument that the evidence for the regular is greater than the evidence for the rare, true or false. False? No. You never said no. Again, uh, the, um, the creation, um, uh, or excuse me, the entire history of the world is comprised of rare, unrepeatable events. So they happen all the time, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people in this room were born. How many times were you born? Basically? You're born. That's rare, right? Your birth is rare. Uh, it's a one-time thing. Uh, and I think we have pretty good evidence that all of us are alive, don't we? Pretty much. So that also is an argument against uh, you. Um, which argument tells us that God is unimaginably powerful, self-existent, and personal? Go. I'm not talking about David Hume and Benedict Spinoza here. I'm talking about that's his name. The arguments that uh, like that. Yeah. The teleological. No. Anybody over here? Nobody. Yes, Michaela. Cosmological, Cosmological argument. Yeah. Cosmological argument. Which argument tells us that God is supremely intelligent and purposeful in his design of the universe, go? Yes. The teleological argument. Uh, who lost the NCAA national championship football game? Alabama. Alabama lost. Bummer. Uh, which argument tells us that God is absolutely pure and has given an, us an unchanging standard of justice, Gil? Yes. That's radio chat. Okay, you gotta look that one up too. Um... Name the unusual event being described. Evil power, falsehood, demonic, <gasps> limited. Go. Yes. Satanic. Satanic what? Miracles. No, they're not satanic miracles. Satanic. I don't know. Because she would have gotten it from that. Um, signs. Satanic signs. Uh... Name the event that is being described. Prearranged events, naturally explained, spiritual context. Go. Yeah. That's Providence. That's Providence. Uh, name the unusual event being described. Sleight of hand, unnatural, man controlled. Go. Uh, Kyle. Magic. Uh. Name the unusual event that is being described. Freak of nature, natural event with pattern. Go. Yes. No. You need to look that one up too. Hopefully you have time to study tonight. Name the unusual event that is being described. Mind over matter requires faith, in quotation marks, fails for some sicknesses. Go. No, I'm not. Look that one up, too. 
Okay, is this general or special revelation? Is this a, an example of general or special revelation? The human body, go. Yes. Special? No. Yes. General. General. Uh, general or special? The Gospel of Matthew, go. Yes. That's special. General or special? The life and work of Jesus, go. Mary. Special. Special. General or special? Um, the planets, go. Yes. Special. Dang it. Yes, general. Uh, who is the coach of the Husker men's basketball team? Go. Kyle. Red Hoiberg. Red um, So those of you that didn't know the difference between general and special revelation, you definitely need to figure that out before tomorrow. Um, and then what is one unmistakable sign of a miracle? Go. I don't know how to word it correctly, but it, like it's something that proves more of God, that God's real, like it exalts Him. It gives glory to God. It gives glory to God. Not to a human being or to anything else. Uh, name another. Yeah. Yes. It, it It's something that cannot happen through natural law. It's outside of natural law. Uh, name another, go. Okay, so um, I would tell you that you need to go to pages 210 and 211 and uh, figure those out. Uh, uh, okay, Juan. Okay, great. I'm going to tell you what else is on the test, um, and then I'm going to give you time to study, which I think you should probably use wisely. Test. It will be counted uh, as a test. So you want to. Um, oh, the Uh, it's for 40 points, 40 points. Um, I don't know, I might count it as a quiz, but either way you want to be great. Uh, so there are 10 um, true-false questions. There's some um, multiple choice. There are two separate matching questions. Uh, one is um, matching the uh, unusual event to the term for that. The other is, is telling me, uh, if there's a list of things, and it's telling me, or you're asking, uh, I'm asking, is this general revelation, or is it a uh, special revelation? Another way of saying general revelation is natural revelation, but they're the same thing. So you need to decide if those four things are uh, special or general revelation. Then you have uh, a short answer that's uh, asking you to list three criteria of an unmistakable sign from God, in other words, a miracle. You'll need to list three of those. Uh, and then you have a, a short answer um, that you get to choose between two different options. One option is to uh, explain the, how the existence of God disproves polytheism. Uh, the other one is to explain uh, this quote from C.S. Lewis. If we admit God, must we admit miracle? Indeed, indeed, you have no security against it. That is the point. So in other words, if, if, we, if we say there's a God, do we have to believe that there are miracles? And he says, yeah, that there's no, there's, uh, no getting around it. Uh, and then you have an essay question. Uh, and uh, you, you, you will find the answers to this uh, in, on pages 203 to 210. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to choose one or the other. You're going to choose either Spinoza's argument or Hume's argument. 
And the first thing you're going to do is to write out that logical arg argument in syllogistic form. In other words, you're going to give me exactly what the argument is, the premises, and then the conclusion. And, and you're, so you're going to write those out. And then you're going to explain why it is not logical. You're going to refute the argument. You're going to argue against um, the whichever one you choose. Uh, you're going to argue against it. So how do we know that it's not logical? Meaning, why isn't the premise true? Because if the first, second, third, I think there's a fourth one on one of them, are true, then the last one has to be true. So where, where did he go wrong? Uh, why is he wrong? Does that make sense? Okay, uh, that's it. I would, if I were you, I would study. <laughs>